There's tons of 80 carries out there these days, and sometimes it's hard to choose which one you want to pick up next. Playing the 80 carry role is a great way to gain elo, but there are some picks that don't work that well in solo queue. Hopefully we can make your decision easier by showing you our top 5 AD carries for solo queue. This is a list specifically for solo queue, so we're looking for high damage champions with either a built in escape or some really strong lane control. If you're in the unfortunate situation where you have a support player who has no idea what he's doing, it won't be the end of the world because you will be on a strong AD carry. With her high damage, high range, and great lane control, we've got our number 5, Caitlyn. Caitlyn makes number 5 on our list due to her long range and lane control. She's able to stay away from all sorts of different assassins, although the ones that do have gap closers can give Caitlyn some trouble. She's really dominant in the lane phase though, due to all of the poke she puts out and the lane control that she provides. She works great with champions with some sorts of CC as well, as she can lay a trap under them and chain CC them. She's definitely the AD carry that's the biggest bully in the bot lane, and if played correctly, can have a fairly easy game. Being a lane bully isn't the only way to win games in solo queue. How about an incredibly bursty rat with stealth? Number 4, Twitch. Twitch is a great AD carry that can even play an assassin role. He has a stealth, slow, high damage, and even burst. He's one of those champions that's able to roam around the map when he's ahead and snowball out of control. Late game, he still remains a really strong carry since his rat tat tat ultimate ability adds 300 range, making him one of the highest range champions for an AD carry. This gives him piercing bolts as well, which means he can shred through an entire team if they are lined up. With everything he provides, I don't understand why he's not played more often. He's one of the best AD carries out there, especially in solo queue. So what about the champion with the highest attack damage, really strong lane presence, and insane scaling in the late game? Number 3, Jin. Jin has obnoxiously high attack damage since his passive gives him some based on level, based on his critical strike chance, and based off his bonus attack speed. He's the champion with the highest attack damage which leads to his excellent scaling. His ultimate then has a 3000 range which makes him a true sniper. In addition, he's got pretty decent lane control since he's able to lay traps. He fits really well into poke and pick comps due to his CC and high range. With all he brings, it's no surprise that he ranks 4th in win rate at 52.86%. Having a lot of attack speed is one great way to have a lot of DPS. When you have a champion that has a passive stacking attack speed buff on one of their abilities, it's pretty much a given that they'll make the top 5. Number 2, Jinx. She was really easy to fit into our top 5 as she's ranked 2nd amongst all AD carries currently at 53.27% win rate in solo queue. She's a champion who lacks a built-in escape, but she does have a really nice CC and a strong slow. When you combine this with all of the attack speed you can have on one version of the Q, or all of the range you can have on the other version of the Q, and your amazing global ultimate, she is an amazing champion. She can work really well with all of the support champions out there, but I do prefer taking her with something with a stun so I can combo CCs for insanely easy kills. She's insanely fun to play, and nothing is quite as satisfying as landing that insanely long range ultimate for a kill across the entire map. An AD carry that can initiate with her ultimate, has a slow as a passive, great poke and wave clear, and a long auto attack range. Sounds pretty decent. Number 1, Ash. As strong as Ash is, she's still sometimes overlooked. This is pretty much due to the fact that she lacks a lot of mobility and she doesn't have a built in escape. But man oh man does she ever make up for this. First of all, she's the AD carry who has arguably the best initiation of all AD carries. There's tons and tons and tons of games I've played where you have two teams staring at each other and nobody will friggin initiate. Being an Ash player can completely solve this issue. If you have a Maokai on your team who's still incredibly scared of initiating even though you guys are way far ahead, you can simply do it yourself. Next is the kiting and oh man is she ever good at kiting. A passive slow which works on her abilities as well, so when she does use her volley, it is an AoE slow. The cooldown's not long, and by switching targets, she's able to keep a lot of champions at the same time, pretty much perma-slowed. Although she has no mobility or escape in her kit, she's still relatively safe in lane with her hawkshot. This is pretty much a scrying orb that has a travel time, but reveals everything along its path. As long as you're able to use this and wards for vision, and apply slows when people come in for ganks, you're pretty damn safe in the bot lane. 
All in all, an incredibly strong AD carry who, of course, is ranked number one in win rate right now at 54.54%. The hardest part about making a top 5 is those champions you have to leave out. So let's look at a couple honorable mentions. So the first one's Miss Fortune and I had her in and out of this top 5 over and over again. She has such an incredible amount of AoE damage with her ultimate that she can destroy entire teams. The biggest reason I couldn't fit her above the other champions is the lack of escape and the lack of any sort of sight or anything at all to control the lane or see people coming in for ganks. If you're in the unfortunate situation where your support is rather useless and he's not dropping words or doing much of anything at all, you can have a horrible time in the lane. I would have loved to fit her in the top 5 as she's one of my favorite AD carries in the whole game, and she even has a really high win rate, but because of the weaknesses she has, I just couldn't put her in there. Our other honorable mention is Sivir. She's a champion who can do some great poking and has a very nice engage tool in her ultimate. She's able to get her teammates into better positions with it and allow for much stronger team fights. She's even got a really nice spell shield, which is truly fantastic. This ability alone, combined with her ultimate, is one of the reasons I tried so hard to fit her in my top 5. All the other champions in the end are stronger in my opinion, and I just couldn't do it. So that pretty much closes out our top 5 AD carries for solo queue in Season 6. What do you guys think of our list? Do you agree with the champions that are in the top 5? And if not, who should be in there instead? Let us know in the comments. This is our first ever top 5 for League of Legends, and if you guys would like to see any other topics, let us know in the comment. We're very open to do many more top 5s. You can view more of our videos on our website, www.egamingtv.com, and you can talk to us on Twitter at egaming underscore TV. Thanks for watching and hit like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.